Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, for tuning in. I'm Val, Future 3 Tarot, and we're just going to jump right in here and see what's going on with you here, Virgo, okay? This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and the North Node, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. Um, this is a general reading, but for more readings after this, please go ahead and check out my husband's tarot channel at Possessed777, and I do offer um, same-day personal readings for $20. Everything you need to know is in the description box below. Thank you. Okay, Virgo, so it looks like here that you have been really healing so much and letting go of so much. Um, there have been things that have been very painful or depressing, you know, and hurtful, but like you've you've overcome that and or you're overcoming it and really going through that and you're aware of it and you're realistic with it. And you and it's it's really changing things for you in a positive way. And there's something going on here where you truly are meant to be going through what you are going through. You know, it's destined to be. You're meant to be doing what you're doing. And you know this. And it's something here where it's very beautiful here for you. All these, you know, wonderful changes that are happening here in life. Okay. Now, because of that, it looks like here it's making someone around you here really unhappy or, you know, emotional and moody and, you know, disconnected and just kind of all over the place here. And meanwhile, you know, you have a lot of abundance and security and stability and, you know, a sense of support, business maybe, you know what I mean? There's a lot going on here with you, a lot of success here. You've created a lot here for yourself. And that's made this person for some reason not want to really be on their own and do things, I guess, independently, be by themselves or re really truly be wise and kind of, you know, take care of some stuff within themselves. So because of that, you've chosen to just kind of move on and move forward on your own path and journey and do your own thing and go towards your own, you know, you're doing something different for you of your own life. And it's very beautiful. It's fun. It's new. It's crazy. It's different, but it feels good to you, whatever that is looks like you're very happy about it too it's something very um it's truly fulfilling and happy here for you um, you work really hard towards this you know you're very productive with this as well and you're working hard towards building and creating more for yourself and it's getting you exactly everything you want and more okay you're with whatever that may be and that has not only irritated this person and caused them to want to bully you and cause problems or like get manipulative and aggressive and greedy and frustrated or confused, but it's made them even more completely indecisive and even more confused and not know what to do and have run, they run out of options, but they also choose to not create realistic ones either. Okay. So they are they are, It's like they're just at a loss. They have no clue what's going on. And you're just basically happy, you know, kind of doing your own thing, focusing on yourself. There's a lot of new positive changes happening here for you. You are balancing yourself, organizing yourself <clears throat> in life, really working towards building so much here for you and what you're focused on. And you have your own plans that you are keeping to yourself and not really, you know, sharing with others. And then you're just doing your own thing with that. And for whatever reason, that's what's making this person get annoyed, irritated, frustrated, or be like um, cold and manipulative and strategic and deceptive here towards you. Um, it looks like they're trying to do something in regards to a contract or legal matters here with you or towards you for some of you and or they're just a very unbalanced person in life and they just choose to stay that way and be that way. 
whatever it may be here, they also choose to just, you know, continue to kind of talk in a very negative way, not truly trust themselves, maybe use you for information or guidance and or just kind of like be fake and false with what they believe and what they do, what they say, um, not be committed in their own marriage or relationships. Um, you know, whatever it is, just not really trust themselves at all and um, kind of gossip and want to cause more problems here. But it makes sense. It looks like it's because, you know, you are extremely successful. You have a lot going for you here. Okay. There's a lot of success and recognition here with you that you are creating for yourself and you've achieved here, Virgo. All right, and it looks like that's why this person chooses to basically um, want to not work on themselves and be lazy and just kind of be financially independently, um, you know, depend or be financially dependent on you and or others, but also greedy at the same time, but not willing to put in the work and the effort towards what they do. And it looks like here that right there is what causes them to not be happy, not have fun or not like you. Um, you know what I mean? And, and, or be mean in some way, shape or form and moody. Um, and for some of you, like I said, it, maybe it's because they're trying to find a way to approach you romantically. Okay. But can't for whatever reason, but they get, they're getting like obsessive about it. Okay. And toxic about it, whatever it may be. It looks like here that this causes them to want to cause problems and drama and conflict and compete with you and battle and, you know, get a lot of people involved possibly here to try and cause issues and drama, you know what I mean? And just fight you and other people around. And it looks like it may, of course, it gets them in a situation where they're more stuck and now they don't know what to do. And then they choose to just stay that way and not reflect on any of it or make any changes here. And so that makes them feel even more guarded and defensive here um, towards you and want to play the victim when, you know, they know they've started this, you know, they've done something here, they've done it to themselves, okay, but they kind of want to play the, the victim and get defensive, unfortunately. Okay. And so for some of you, that's possibly why you've completely blocked them out. You know, you don't have them in your life anymore, or you're about to block them, or you've already, you've made a very, you know, huge choice, a decision for yourself in your life about something here in regards to the situation, you know, whatever it is you're doing here, or you're just clear and aware about all of it. And whatever it is, that's what's made them get, you know, have to move really quickly and get really irritated and aggressive or frustrated and or maybe feel insecure and not know what to do, but just want to kind of cause problems here and move around and move really quickly to try to, you know, confuse things in a sense here. All right. You could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aries, Libra, or Aries, Libra, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Thank you. Bye.